To begin, we will look at the Diagnosis Search tool that is available in the clinical application. This is a standalone tool that allows you to find and locate diagnosis codes. This search tool is incorporated into all of the areas of Clinical and Practice Manager where diagnosis codes are selected and configured. So once you are familiar with how the search tool works, all other areas where diagnosis codes are actually selected and configured will be easier and efficient. To access the Diagnosis Search tool, click Edit, then System Tables, and then Diagnosis Search. The Diagnosis Search dialog will appear, and you will see three options along the top, ICD-10 Search, ICD-9 Search, and Crosswalk. When performing an ICD-10 Search, or using the Crosswalk options, the dialog will also contain a middle column that groups all of the diagnoses that will branch out by specific diagnostic types, allowing you to locate the diagnoses in this manner. And once a diagnosis is selected in the diagnostic tree, the right column will contain further details for the selected diagnosis. Likewise, when performing an ICD-9 search or using the crosswalk functionality, you are able to hide the left and right columns by clicking the arrow buttons. To perform an ICD-10 search, be sure that the ICD-10 search option is selected above, then select the applicable search column and search type, and then begin typing the diagnosis you want to locate in the description field. For our example, we will use hypertension. The system will then return diagnoses that match that description for the search column and search type selected. Once the applicable code has been located, Highlight that code in the left column and the applicable code will become highlighted in the diagnostic tree in the middle column. And the right column will display detailed information regarding the selected diagnosis. In our case, we'll highlight essential or primary hypertension and the diagnosis will be selected in the diagnostic tree and the detailed information will appear in the right pane. From here, you can scroll through the tree for similar diagnoses select a different diagnosis in the left pane, or refine your search to locate a different diagnosis. To perform an ICD-9 search, be sure that the ICD-9 search option is selected above, then select the applicable search column and search type, and then begin typing the diagnosis you want to locate in the description field. Here again, we will use hypertension, but notice how when we click from ICD-10 search to ICD-9 search, the description that we previously entered remains. This allows you to easily toggle between searches to help you locate the specific diagnosis code you are searching for. The system will return diagnoses that match the description for the search column and search type selected. Once you have located the diagnosis you are searching for, you can highlight that diagnosis and note the ICD-9 code, which will become useful when using the crosswalk feature or you can refine the search to find another diagnosis. To use the crosswalk option, be sure that the crosswalk option is selected above and then enter the specific ICD-9 code you would like to match to an applicable ICD-10 code. Do note that if you highlight a code in the ICD-9 search area, that code will default into the description field when you select the crosswalk option. The system will then return ICD-10 codes that match that ICD-9 code in the description field. Once the applicable code has been located, highlight that code in the left column and the applicable code will become highlighted in the diagnostic tree in the middle column and the right column will display detailed information regarding the selected diagnosis. In our example, we will highlight the only diagnosis, essential or primary hypertension and the diagnosis will be selected in the diagnostic tree and the detailed information will appear in the right pane. From here, you can scroll through the tree for similar diagnoses, select a different diagnosis in the left pane if there are any, or refine the code in the description field to locate a different diagnosis. When you are finished searching for diagnosis codes, you can click the OK button. The Diagnosis Search dialog is implemented throughout the system wherever you need to search for and locate a diagnosis. The only difference being how diagnoses are selected for that particular context.